to below the state with Devon's sudden retirement. The team that kind of are forced to scramble and attempt to find a driver who can place his performance on track. But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So, given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's... Now, little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? What? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. no. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just, just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her. Hmm? Forget legacy. Oh, we'd be, you'd be making history, and you'd be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter who took her mother's name to spite. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Oh, snap. Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Several weeks later, the F1 can't wait to know for no one while Casper and I work to secure a permanent replacement for Devon and the team who must turn to Titchy to Spanish Grand Prix. We are back for another episode of F1. Well, have you spoken to her yet? Uh, yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Well, when you're the one that knows her, just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Connorsport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. Let's go. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here, so let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on. with a podium.
manoeuvre. You made it look so easy. That's it mate, you've taken fifth. Okay, we've lost a position, that's us down a place.
gap to your teammate behind is 17.2 seconds. Approaching the pit window and you're going to be on mediums. Up to speed now, let's get some heat into those tyres. Jackson propping up Connor Sport here today, but the big it. news off the track is the speculation about this team of whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup.
Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, the mid-season signing will get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. Oh, a much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. Well, Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So just tell me, what is it like for you today? Yeah, uh, not so long ago, my teammate was Devon and um, we had a plan sorted out for the rest of the season. Uh, now it's Noah and uh, for the last couple of races, uh, suddenly nobody's quite sure what the situation is. I've never had to drive in this, this, this situation before, so it's all pretty strange, but you do what you can. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? I honestly never thought I'd say this, but I, I do miss him. He brought a lot of energy to the team and it feels odd not to have him around right now. For the record, I'm not saying I like him. <laughs> He'd never let me hear the end of it, but he's missed at Connor Sport, that's for sure. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? Uh, that sounds like a question for Casper. Um, I know they need to plan for every every situation. That's just the nature of the sport. But you know, if those discussions are happening, I'm definitely not involved with that. Appreciate it. Thank you. The other guy suck, bro. Who's in twenty first? With the Spanish Grand in the books, scratch for set their sets on securing their driver line up for the remainder of twenty twenty three season. Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing made you, really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but, um... Well, we've got something in the pipeline. A potential new driver and a damn good one. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say. Not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble, but if they agree, we could have something special. Nice. And, um... How is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidoff has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good. That's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later, Casper. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. That's it for today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.